if you've been through severe weather season in North Texas, you're probably at least somewhat familiar with tornado warnings. That, of course, means that a tornado is either imminent in your area or is already happening. Those whirling, swirling winds that bring a condensation funnel from the sky to the ground and usually a dust cloud or debris cloud up from the ground. So, what if I told you there was a different kind of tornado warning? I don't mean tornado emergency. That is kind of a different deal. Of course, that means that a confirmed tornado is threatening a populated area. No, this is a little bit different, a little bit more apocalyptic sounding. It's a fire tornado warning. It is a thing, and it happened relatively recently for the first time. Of course, it happened in 2020. What other year is it going to happen, right? This was in Lassen County, California, back in August of 2020. There was a massive fire there, one of those many, many uh, large wildfires that burn there. And when you have a fire of that size, sometimes you have what's called a cumulonimbus, let me try to make this right, cumulonimbus flammogenitus, uh, which is the kind of the scientific name, kind of the shorter name is a pyrocumulonimbus, right? You have uh, the, so much heat and energy is produced from these fires, you actually get a thunderstorm. Uh, th these things can produce tremendous lightning, and I've read that they sometimes can even produce rain that extinguishes the fire. Uh, crazy, crazy things can happen when you have fires of that magnitude that interact with the dynamics in the atmosphere and create thunderstorms. Well, sometimes those can be severe and sometimes produce tornadoes. It's not surprising because the energy produced by the fire can cause swirling winds. It can cause quite a bit of rotation. And oftentimes, if you're watching a large fire, you see little uh, flame, kind of flame-filled uh, whirlwinds, if you will. But the difference is that when you have uh, a, a, a storm that produces a tornado large enough to, number one, come up on radar, we, we were actually able to see the circulation on the velocity view. And that's, of course, you've seen it before on the live streams where you have the green and red, the opposing wind directions and speeds. It was visible just like any other supercell tornado. And, and, and I remember the day it was issued. I was, of course, monitoring social media to see what kind of weather updates were going on. If I remember right, there wasn't much happening here. Probably another hot August day in Texas. Well, the news came across that a tornado warning had been issued in Lassen County, California for this uh, fire tornado. Let me actually read the text of the warning. Tornado warning, the, well, the National Weather Service in Reno has issued a tornado warning for southeastern Lassen County in Northern California. And it says uh, until 3.30 p.m. Uh, and uh, at 2.28 p.m., a pyrocumulonimbus from the Loyalton wildfire was capable of producing a fire-induced tornado and outflow winds in excess of 60 miles per hour was located south of Chilkoot and is uh, nearly stationary. So the tornado wasn't really going anywhere. It was just kind of sitting there. The hazard, of course, was a tornado. The source was radar indicated rotation. I showed you that imagery just a moment ago. And the impact, listen to this, extreme fire behavior with strong outflow winds capable of downing trees and starting new fires. This is an extremely dangerous situation for firefighters. This was not, uh, this says, uh, this tornadic pyrocumulonimbus will remain over mainly rural areas. This area was not really populated. The main concern was for the firefighters at that time. They were the ones that were uh, in the most immediate danger. So, as you can see here, fire tornadoes are a thing. And in fact, when I was doing the research on this, I found that apparently there was another one issued just recently on April 14th of this year. So uh, the first ever fire tornado warning was issued in 2020, and it's happened again in 2022. So sometimes once there's a precedent for something, it becomes a little easier to make it happen. But here in Texas, I'm hopeful I never have to talk about a fire tornado warning. Uh, you know, those conditions in California where those wildfires happen uh, are just another example of the extreme weather we are capable of here in North America. 
for now, I will be continuing to watch for supercell thunderstorms that produce tornadoes. But just know if you're ever traveling a place where wildfires are possible, of course, uh, at the time of filming this, we just recently had our uh, outdoor burning ban lifted. So fortunately, we're getting enough rain to kind of start to curb the fire concerns here. But tornadoes are possible in many different scenarios, and this is one of them. I hope you enjoyed the story there, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to put those in the comments. I would love to do the research for you and find out more information. Uh, but uh, this was a truly unique situation that I couldn't help but expound on. Also in the comments, tell me if there's another kind of segment that you want me to bring, another topic you want me to talk about. I've got a baby on the way soon, so I don't know if that may slow down these segments a little bit, but either way, I want to make sure that I'm bringing you the latest information, uh, the latest stories and uh, details on all of, uh, all of these really crazy weather events. And uh, if I'm not telling you the story, I'm hoping to get some guests that we can talk to soon as well. Make sure you're following EllisCountyWeather.com for all of the latest weather updates. Follow us on YouTube and Facebook as well for all the latest updates there. Until next time, thanks for watching.